is Valerie and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be giving you a quick but comprehensive list of all the things you're going to want to bring to that next music festival, especially EDC Las Vegas. I've been going to raves and music festivals for over 10 years now, both by myself and in large groups upwards of 50 people. I'm going to break up this video into three key parts. The first are the things you're going to want to bring into the festival. The second are things that are nice to have, and the third are my recommendations for what to have for EDC weekend, but you won't actually need once you get into the festival itself. So enough with the chit chat, let's just dive right in. So let's jump into part one, which is all about the things you need to bring into EDC. First, let's cover the basics. Number one, please be sure to bring your government ID and your credit cards. You're absolutely going to need that to get in, and you're going to want your credit cards in case you get hungry or need a drink. Number two is to make sure you bring in your wristband. You cannot get into the festival without that. And if you are taking the shuttle and you have a shuttle pass, be sure to bring that as well. If you're anything like me, then I absolutely love taking photos and videos. So I highly recommend bringing in an external charger and don't forget that cable either. Hydration is absolutely vital at EDC or any type of music festival. So I highly recommend bringing in a camel pack. That'll allow you to carry a lot of water without having to go to the refill stations often. And it's especially important because you cannot bring in water bottles. It's always important to check your music festivals list on things that are allowed in and things that are not. I'm going to link the EDC 2023 Las Vegas one below. Another must have is to bring in band-aids. You would not believe how many times it saved me whenever I got a small little cut or I needed a little bit of extra protection because my outfit's starting to hurt in some parts. And last but not least, because music festivals always attract a very large crowd, which makes it very easy for things to get lost or stolen, I highly recommend bringing in a fanny pack or some type of backpack that's gonna keep all your stuff centralized in one place, safe and secure. Hey guys. Please show your love and support by giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing below. These small little actions help support me so much and allow me to continue making helpful content like this for you guys. Now part two of this video, the nice to haves. I highly recommend bringing a totem pole or some type of really giant marker that's gonna help you and your friends find each other in the large crowds. My friends and I always have so much fun making these types of totem poles and it makes it so easy whenever we split apart and come back together. One of my favorites nice to have that is really a must for me is bringing in diffraction sunglasses. They make paper versions and sunglasses versions, but essentially when you put them on and you look at a light, it splits all the beautiful lights into different shapes and different colors. There is the basic one that just does something like this, and then they have fun ones that turn into stars, into hearts, and all those fun shapes. It's also really cool if you actually use them to look at the fireworks because then you start seeing the shapes flying through the sky. So I highly recommend bringing in diffraction sunglasses. The next thing I highly recommend is bringing in ear protection. You can do a basic like an earplug here or you can use the upgraded version I have which is basically earplugs that allow you to still hear the quality of the music. If you want to learn more about some of my favorites then click on this video here where I give you so many different options for earplugs. Depending on if your music festival is during the day or the night, then I highly recommend also bringing sunscreen. Nobody wants to be a painful little lobster. Another nice to have is bringing in a mask or a bandana. A lot of us love to wrap it around our bottom half of our faces just to keep out any dust, any smoke, any grime. The next nice to have is candy. It is so much fun to bring in all these really wonderful bracelets. For me, it's all part of the experience and it's nice to also make extra so that you can exchange it with the new people you meet. Some people also really enjoy bringing in gum or chapstick, which you absolutely can do. Just make sure it's unopened and steel sealed. This next part is especially helpful for my ladies. I personally have been saved by bringing in my own tissues. The porter potties get so disgusting and they run out of tissues. So that has definitely saved me in a pinch. And for all my ladies out there, if you're planning to have Aunt Flo visit, then don't forget to bring your feminine products. I want you to have the best time possible and not have to think about that. And if you easily get cold, I do highly recommend bringing in a light layer just to cover up. Let's move into part three of this video, which are things you're gonna to wanna to bring for your festival weekend, but won't necessarily need inside the event. So you're gonna have the basics like your toiletries, whether it be medicine, shampoo, conditioner, toothbrush, toothpaste, all those basic things. And you're also gonna to wanna to bring your clothes as well, whether it's clothes for the festival, Festival, sleeping clothes, maybe clothes before and after if you just want to hang out. And don't forget to bring a swimsuit if you're planning to do of any of the water activities. For example, at EDC Las Vegas is Camp EDC or maybe some of the parties on the strip as well. And then another fun thing to bring are speakers. I actually love to bring speakers. It makes it so much fun to listen to music and dance with 
all the different people at Camp EDC or to even just listen to it at your hotel while you're getting ready with your friends. And that, guys, is my quick but comprehensive list of all the things you're going to want to bring for EDC. I've made some other really great EDC preparation videos, so I will link them right here. And it's going to give you a breakdown of all the different stages and some sneak peeks of some of the most amazing experiences when you're there. Thank you so much, and I would absolutely love your support. So please don't forget to like this video and give a subscribe below. And if you're curious about any of my other adventures, like traveling or dining at some of the most incredible places, then I've also linked it here. And I can't wait to see you all under the electric sky. EDC is just a few days away. Yay!